Uh -oh. <laughs> Back off of that grape lady. <laughs> the wine has to have a chance <laughs> to breathe. My pinot noir has had ample time to steep its bouquet, Bruce. Yeah, I can see it and it doesn't look very happy. Well, if you like, we can pop it under a microscope, Ugh. which I would assume in a contest <laughs> betwixt it and your compromised perception but it would be the more truthful <laughs> instrument. <laughs> the snow makes me scary. <laughs> Bruce, why are you so threatened by any weather pattern other than a summer day? Because of all the cold dealies, <laughs> and it makes Serinda cranky. <laughs> well, accepting that Serinda is both megalomaniacal and messianic, with no tolerance for any divergence of opinion or conduct, I must inquire nevertheless as to why you cannot manage to stay out of the toilet. Because they won't let me into the jacuzzi. <laughs> Come on, hustle <laughs> to the tower. Oopsie. Oh, Lord. Is it the Great Banana Boat Great Festival season again? Serinda, I wouldn't feel the need to break the wintry chill in this manner if it weren't so drafty in my stateroom. Mm. Well, have you tried leggings, Catwoman? Those yellow bunny slippers aren't exactly frozen tundra tested. <laughs> now y'all get ready for the opening number and repeat after me. I am the high-functioning alcoholic I want to see in the world. I am the free psychic. Oh, Christ. Lord. It's the Dragon Sail Puppets Variety Show. Starring Sorinda, Bruce, Catatonia, and Henri. Featuring the Dragon Sail Puppets Band. Anchors away. A vision in twilight on a hill. I'll jump your dino. Even from the fire. I'll jump your dino. Leave it from the fire. Surrender from the cell Knows their model all too well Can't that the truth I still get the best of me Oh no Not in the booth when they come and at me With charges of heresy ah, 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 ah. I'll jump your dino Out of the fire I'll jump your dino I'm aware of Georgia and Belveda, so many out of Indians fight with suspect. Report me to tyranny, but cause the logical conspiracy. Oh, I say, uh, Stop, stop, stop. 
sugar bridges, take it up with my turn. And then he published a bishop, wanna give me the press. I'd be sitting in a small box of his dress. <laughs> I'd like your time to Trimming the snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, of contestants from some reality show where people try to get hitched up because I've never seen so much beauty and rented finery. <laughs> Maybe a little Botox in there. <laughs> Maybe a few well-placed scarves hiding some yodeling turkey necks, but surrender. <laughs> Salute you anyway. <laughs> oh, I think we've managed to put a show together out of all the ass backwards and misbegotten babies. <laughs> Interestingly enough, that's the name of George's mother, Miss Begotten. Also, it was the name of a trailer park beauty pageant from my old neck of the woods where all the contestants were pregnant. <laughs> okay. I know I'm starting off with this early on out of the gate, but Georgia Hot Flash Law. <laughs> Y'all know what she wanted all of us to do the last time I was on land? Go white water rafting. I said, do I look like I don't spend enough time on a boat? <laughs> and she said there'd be just enough room in the boat for me, her, Velveeta Flames, Little Miss Petri Dish, and Storm Cloud, if he'd like to come along. I said, oh no, don't you go rebounding in that direction. I must veto any advances from those hussies toward my band members, as they are a dark, sucking void in which no light or saving grace may enter. You know, in order to get the results I require from those fools what play the plug-in instruments for this outfit, they must belong utterly to me. Really, it's for the best. Now, as y'all know, Georgia was staying in my garage slash rec room for a while, which was not working out, and even she had to admit it. She kept saying something about the exhaust fumes from my Pontiac vibe getting in her lungs or something like that. I didn't get all the details. So then she moves in two doors down from me with those twin beasts, Velveeta and Little Miss Petrie, and surprise, surprise, there's drama afoot. <laughs> so, to get away from it all, Georgia suggests she and I go to the back end of some local Lutheran church and walk the labyrinth. You know, which is one of those spiritual questing things that people do who eat a lot of lettuce. <laughs> now, I did owe Georgia a favor for tackling some hussy at the pinch my penny for me who was in my way getting to a red sequin dress across the aisle. So I agreed to go. Now, Georgia is known for a few things. Triple D rack, butt pads, a pink mound of curly ass clown hair, and other crimes against humanity. <laughs> But spiritual question ain't her bag. So I told her I would leave. Why are you filming this, Georgia? Well, I don't think you have to send a video to Velveeta or Chi Chi, cause ain't no way you're gonna get lost doing this. Okay, think of it like that corn maze you went to. Only there's no team of police dogs trained to recognize your seat. <laughs> See, just follow the tracks and stay on the pebbles and don't trip over the bricks. Now. Georgia, are you texting with your other phone? Really? Hussy, we came out here to get you in touch with your high power. What the hell? Now, don't be getting too close to me. I don't need those triple Ds rubbing against my back. It's disgusting. Okay, now we round in the bin, Georgia. Try to concentrate. 
Just look at the ground before you if you can see it past your eyes. Oh, Georgia, Lord. I just know it won't be the last time that hussy gets a face full of parables. <laughs> I don't know how her head hit the ground in the first place. What with all that weight she got up front. <laughs> it really was like watching a teeter-totter go back and forth. Head, feet, head, feet. <laughs> well, now y'all sit tight and stay balanced. <laughs> and I'll see y'all on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the beguiling charms of a wintry night. This season of quiescence, which engenders the pageantry of spring. Yeah. I hold forth in my heart the promise of a bath of bloom as winter draws us into fellowship. Oh, oh no! Why do you speak of the loss of honeysuckle blossoms in this season of death? Uh, Many a winter have I traversed upon a frosty plain with no fragrant blooms to balm me on my journey. But what's this? Spray me down, hussy. Why, now I smell as fresh as a row of honeysuckle on a Tennessee cow fence. And you can too, huh? Just pick up a bottle of my honeysuckle passion at the pinch my penny. And yes, you may have heard about it attracting bees, and maybe a few old ladies got stung, but what are you, a bee colony honey harvester? I mean, seriously, what are the odds that you are? <laughs> You'll be all right.
<laughs> I kind of like the snow. <laughs> I don't get it. You liked it all through Christmas. Yeah, but then I was getting chew toys and dealies. And there were pretty lights everywhere. And now, it's like a wrinkled out honky keeps flashing his butt in your face. Uh, how so? It's beyond understanding. I could draw your tarot card. <laughs> that never works. That's true. Oh, I could tell you a story that Catatonia told me. Oh, her stories are impeccable and lugubrious. This one's pretty good. Oh. There was an old man named Mr. Chow, and he came home from work one day and told his wife, I'm going over to that corner to meditate. What's that? That's where you sit still and keep quiet. No! <laughs> and she said, that's not. And he said, oh no, I'm going to meditate for the rest of my life. And she said, oh dear. And he said, we have plenty of money and our children are through school. I will sit in that corner over there and every day you will feed me one avocado and you must never cut my hair. So every day for 20 years, she bathed him and dressed him and fed him an avocado and his beard grew down to the floor. Oh no! What happened then? Well, <laughs> one day a health inspector came by and said he looked okay, but the beard was a health hazard and had to go. <laughs> but his wife had sworn not to cut it, so a nurse did the job for her and then he died in a puff of gas. What happened then? Well, his daughter married a real estate developer and they were very wealthy. And his son became born again and wore a shirt with a little alligator on the pocket. <laughs> Yeah. 
I insist to crawl out of the blue. Never done making a payment to the fate in the shade. Drawn over yesterday. These plans I see are still on the way. Oh, you would raise me up. Your honey tongue pathology engulfs the world. I'm circling far away from this orbit of my mind. Embrace and change. Lugubrious hussies. <laughs> you know, we want to thank IC Monkeys for bringing the groove and the funky soul once again. <laughs> and I personally want to thank Georgia Hot Flash's mother for baking us those spinach pies, which made me so much more appreciative of my strawberry slim and shake <laughs> And now I just want y'all to blast the cold away. Preferably with my spring-scented fragrance as you go forth and live in life. Or oh, suck it up, pussies! Ha ha! Surrender's gowns courtesy of the Pinch My Penny Markdown Rack. Wardrobe consultation by Chi Chi's Productions. Personal assistant to Surrenda, also that drag queen from Guatemala. Special promotional consideration by Georgia Hot Flash. Sorinda's fragrance, Honeysuckle Passion, encourages vivacity and melts snow on contact better than salt crystals. Oh, 